Hi everybody, today in front of me I have this Samsung uh, Galaxy A33 smartphone and this video is dedicated to me showing what are the best display settings that you can possibly change on this device. So first of all, open up the settings app, go for the display category and in here we have all kinds of settings so let's go ahead and start. The first one being the very standard thing uh, that allows you to go uh, switch between light and dark modes. So if you uh, just... just uh, Find out what mode you like, what mode uh, you like best, and go with it. Uh, I highly recommend that you enable the dark mode for the nighttime or for the for those times where you do not have uh, sufficient ambient lighting. In the dark mode settings, you can uh, turn on the schedule for it. For example, from sunset to sunrise, or set any custom schedule and choose the in and out time for it. As for right now, I'll just stick with the light mode. Next, we have this very standard uh, brightness. Uh, brightness bar which by altering which we can increase or de respectively decrease the brightness of your display or also that is possible to enable the uh, adaptive brightness which will automatically regulate the display brightness on your device according to the ambient lighting you have around you next we have the motion smoothness uh, setting which basically stands for the refresh rate of your screen uh, there are two options to choose from you can either go with the high refresh rate of 90 hertz and uh, get yourself a smoother and uh, smoother animation and basically overall visual experience or uh, choose the standard uh, 60 hertz of a refresh rate and get longer battery life so you do you choose uh, any option you like i'll just stick with the high refresh mode now uh, we have this eye comfort chill uh, eye, eye comfort chill setting that once enabled filters out the blue lights and makes everything look warmer so if you feel like uh, your eyes are tired you are experiencing the high level of an eye fatigue we highly recommend that you go ahead and um, enable this mode next we have the screen mode setting which basically allows us to alter change and configure the color scheme uh, of our interface in here we have some some of the very colorful uh, photos in order to preview what uh, the, what the color scheme that we set up will look like. There are vivid and natural preset, and we can also regulate the white balance manually by altering this bar. There are also some advanced settings where you can uh, regulate each of the each color of the RGB palette separately. So red, green, blue. Next. Uh, Next we have the font size and style, which is basically a very standard thing. You can either choose the style of your font, make it bold or not, and change the font style. Or, excuse me, change the font size. Next we have the screen zoom, which will basically increase the visual uh, interface size. The, well, the, all the visual aspects of your interface will be either increased or decreased. Next we have the easy mode, which just simplifies the interface and makes it bigger and, uh, well, more comprehensive, if I can say so. And in easy mode, everything will look just like that. So let's go ahead and uh, turn it off as for right now. And there are some... Uh, well, in easy mode, there are some settings that you can play with as well. Next, we have edge panels, which once activated, uh, as you can see, adds this bar uh, on the side of your display. And this bar is basically just uh, allows you to quick access uh, the pre preset applications. You can change the, them by uh, tapping on these three lines at the bottom, go for edit, and in here you can... Uh, add or remove any apps that you'd like. So uh, next we have the navigation bar. Here you can change the uh, navigation type on your device from buttons to swipe gestures and vice versa. So just choose any navigation type that you'd like. I'll stick with the uh, gesture navigations. Also, you, you can either enable or disable accidental touch protection, which basically uh, protects your phone from accidental touches um, and all kinds of things. Next, we can either increase uh, the touch sensitivity or leave it at the uh, standard value, at the standard um, sensitivity. So once you feel like there is not enough touch screen sensitivity or you have installed the protective screen uh, on the display of your device, you can just go ahead and enable the switch. 
Next we have uh, the show charging information setting, which once enabled uh, shows the charging information once obviously your phone is charging uh, and uh, displays this information, demonstrates this information on the blocked screen or when the screen is off. And there is also the screen saver, which uh, shows once enabled, shows the screen saver after the screen turns off automatically while your phone is charging. You can choose uh, it to display the colors, some photos, photo frames or photo tables. So that was it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and bye-bye.